Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm trying to be quiet this morning because my husband is sleeping and, and, uh, so I don't want to wake him up, but I, so I hope you can hear me well. Um, I want to talk about inconveniences this morning because sometimes it's inconvenient. Like this morning, it's a little inconvenient to do this, um, this message because a couple of reasons yesterday we got my treadmill. And I was going to put it in here. I think I've been uh, telling people about that. And so we realized it was really huge. And the only way we we're going to get it in was to take the door off. So we took the door off. The door is still off. It's just leaning up there. Um, and so we started to bring the treadmill in and realized we can't get the treadmill in to this room. No way, no how. So the door is still off. That's inconvenient for me this morning because I'm trying to do this and I don't want to wake my husband. Um, yesterday, you know, was my granddaughter's birthday party, her one year birthday party. We had it here and it was so much fun. And then we started putting the treadmill together and this was a little inconvenient because it took over the, um, the afternoon, we sort of were like trying to put this treadmill together. It's a big treadmill. At some point, I will show you it. So there's inconveniences. I think about when, you know, when the Wi-Fi gets messed up and we can't watch our programs on the TV or I can't do something with my phone or my computer. Um, I think about when, you know, I'm in traffic, you know, I'm going somewhere and it seems like the traffic is never ending and I can't get, get to where I want to go and I'm getting late. Um, I think about when the plane is late or the bus is late or whatever it is, right? Um, I think about also the inconvenience of paying for something and then having it be late, paying for like an expedited service or something and having it be late. Um, you know, having your computer update when you want to print something. Just all these little things that can happen to us that we would consider an inconvenience. It's super inconvenient. Um, maybe it rains on the day that you intended to go to the beach. Well, that's definitely an inconvenience, right? Because you wanted to go do something and now it's raining. So what do you do with these inconveniences? One of the worst things that can happen to me, I feel like, is when I'm asked to do something that is sort of out of my, my talents, you know, like cooking is not one of my talents, but I get asked to bring a meal to some kind of an event. What do I do? I think serving others can sometimes be inconvenient. People ask us to do things when it may not be what we want to do or in the time frame that we want to do it in. You know, have you ever gotten that, that late night call for someone that needs a hand? Maybe their car broke down and they need somebody to pick them up in the middle of the night, what do you do? I think that when we are inconvenienced, God is saying, see, you can't do things without me. You can't really help people. You can't really make it through without me. I want to remind you that I'm most important. So when the Wi-Fi connection goes down, have a conversation, play a game. Do something constructive. When, when the traffic is crazy, well, pray. Talk to God. Um, think about somebody, think about calling somebody that you haven't talked to in a really long time. Make that phone call. If it rains on the day that you were planning to go to the beach, go to the beach anyway. Sometimes there's, there's, there's joy in the inconvenience. And it's when you look at the inconvenience as an opportunity instead of a problem 
that is when you see the joy. God is asking us to seek him more, even when it's inconvenient. Seek him when it's inconvenient. Do things when it's inconvenient and see it as an opportunity instead of a problem. I hope this is helpful for, for you today. And I hope that it makes you start to think about your inconveniences and seeing them in a different way. Have an amazing day and I will see you again on Monday. Take care. God does the how and you do the do.